This is going on that uh, job we're doing up in uh, Maryville. This is part of the purlings for the tin, for the tin, for the tin to sit on. I was pushing too fast. Oh, okay. Now with the purlings, are you also going to plane and trim the edges? So it all looks the same. Yeah, I'm only two supposed to be my kids. There's a lot of work to do. Yeah, it's very. Yeah, I probably spent five days on the mill and we spent one day, it's going about one and a half days or two days, just cleaning them the edges and right. taking the cook out. When you just stick to them something, you really don't have to worry about because you're covering it all up. This everything's going to be exposed. So. Right. It's a whole lot more work. But it looks a whole lot better.
he said he needed eight, so he'll be able to definitely get eight right here. Got your eight, didn't you? Ten. Well, that's what I meant. You got at least your eight. Well, they could be bracing. Well, yeah, I've got some ten footers, but the twenty-four footers that way each side will be uh, eleven foot sticking out on each. So yeah, I mean, it just makes more sense on twelve footers, and we'll have some ten footers there for something. Something other. Dude, it is beautiful weather. It's second week of February. In what, low 60s probably? Mm, probably? Makes me want to get out and start working in my garden, but that's still a little bit too early. I'm planning by the end of February to start working in my greenhouse and getting my seeds started. Uh, that will be four or eight weeks prior to the last frost that they say for for our region. So, but still, it's like, you know, you want to get out, you want to get out and open the pool and all this other stuff. And you know, there's going to be cold weather right around the corner. We'll still, we always have a snow like in late February or first March. Yeah. Somewhere around there, we always have it ain't a big one, but it's... It's one. <laughs> it's one that we don't like. <laughs> I don't. Well, Randy, what else do you have to do today on this? Plain and sand. Plain and sand. Well, I needed to fill in. And I may do these, I don't know. Also, the other day when we were working on those rafters, there was two long rafter boards that really, the there was some ant infestation, and we went ahead and just yeah, cut more. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll spray everything anyhow, but it don't. I don't know how far it went up into them, and that way I want good clear wood. Right. Yeah. So if you were watching that the other day, and I mean, you were, I use it on mine. Yeah. Not on somebody else's. Not on something that someone's paid for. <laughs> but if you were watching the other day and saw that, we are not using that on, on the build. We actually cut more. There's still and, some of that board you can use. We can use for something. But Yeah, but it's not going to go on anything we're selling. Yeah, that happens down at the base of the trees. Ants will work their way up into the base of it, and that was the base of a tree. Right. And it, it happens. Yeah. That's just the old wood. But we try to do right by everybody. So we ain't gonna give anybody anything that's not gonna be good. Well, I am going to let him take these up there. And he's gonna have to spend a day down here at the sawmill shed and just do some cleanup. He's got wood stacked everywhere. That'll be another project for them. Well, remember to like, subscribe, and share. Remember to get out and enjoy the day. It's a beautiful day that the good Lord gave us. Get out and, if nothing else, walk around your neighborhood. Go visit a neighbor. Go talk to a banana. Well, remember, we love you. God loves you. Y'all have a blessed day.